Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Got another shave of the day for you. And today we're going to be delving back into, well actually it's not into something old. It's something new. Capenia. Well, this is a scent that I'm like, what am I smelling? It's like I can smell cedar, a little bit of citrus and some flowery notes in there coming in across the puck and i'm like i'm not sure and maybe a peppery note possibly but or might even be grapefruit i'm not sure but when i get it on a little lathered up it smells like uh sterling ode you know they're uh spicy wood one because now i have a spicy wood note to it it's kind of interesting. It's like it changed from one direction to the other. But it's not not bad. It's kind of pleasant. I like I like it when it's been lathered up. It's like when I'm smelling it off the puck. I'm like, eh, not sure. But this smells like uh, Sterling's Oud. Nice. I like that. Now uh, today we're going to be using the Star Razor single edge razor. Yeah. We're going to go into this and see how this one works out. It's because we got, where's that? Bring this one. We got the gem and we got the star. Who's going to be the star of the show? Maybe I should do a comparison. They're probably about the same anyway. Anywho, but we're going to be using this today. <clears throat> Hope everybody's day is going good. Some of you, if you're out, Across the pond when you're watching this this is morning uh, kind of mid to late morning from when this video comes out if you're local time for me it's like oh dark early now <clears throat> oh, yeah this smells like the sterling ode soap oh lost some down the sink right into the sink I got an iceberg. Yeah, it's uh, you can hear the air conditioning running. It's like it's not even summer yet, and we're in the 90s. Like, man, I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, now this one here, I uh. If I'm using the uh, the gem, I do know that I have to get that angle just right. And this is kind of an aggressive. No, this is a, probably just as aggressive razor as the gem. Yeah, I can feel that blade. Wow, that knocked that down. Holy buckets. Pretty aggressive. You gotta get that angle just right with this thing. It just once seems like it wants to grab. But then again, I got a lot of growth on the face today. Now this is my grandfather's his favorite style of razor. My dad's side. This was his razor of choice. I say this is kind of a thirsty soap. Yeah, I can really feel it across there. It's like it's trying to grab all the scar tissue. I go really slow on my chin. Wow. 
grabby. Well, that's round one. It took off my bump right there. <laughs> yeah, wow, that kind of knocked it down pretty good. That's uh, pretty aggressive. It's just like that gem where it is wanting to take off uh, multiple layers of epidermis along with any hair in the way. <laughs> I can feel a stain on the face now. Well, come on. That went right on my towel. Uh, sometimes the wife is like, what were you shaving with? Because the towel smells funny. You're like, oh, well, peach? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. My wife doesn't like peach at all. Doesn't like the smell of it. <laughs> Not supposed to go up your nose. Safety tip. But, yeah, uh, you get that peach in the house and it's like they'll be sitting on the counter and you just walk into the kitchen and you go, ah, oh, I smell those peaches. And my wife is like, could you just eat them and get them out of the house? Like, I'm going to eat them, but some of them are like layered. Like you buy a few that are ripe and ready to go and you just, you know, you get a few it's like, so you can eat them like for over the course of a few days where they, uh, uh, are constantly ripe. Cause if you get them all right, same ripeness, they all ripen about the same time, and you're like, oh, man, I got to eat them all that same day. Wow. That is pretty aggressive for my book. And this is one of those razors where I can't go very fast at all. Gotta take your time. Oof. I'm kind of quiet. I'm concentrating. I'm doing surgery on my face. Well, this is like if you're just starting out using a straight razor, you're going to be trying to figure out how this thing works. And Pretty, pretty wild. Well, wife and I watched a movie, The Courier, last night. A uh, British. Uh, salesman who got hired or tagged to be the courier for the Russian spy that was he's not well he was a, a Russian that was um, transporting the information from Russia to the UK 
you know, you had all these businesses and opening businesses in Russia and all the uh, behind the Iron Curtain. Pretty good movie. My wife was like, it's kind of slow. It's like, but it's good. I like it. That was like one of those uh, the base. Ooh. Burn right there. Right here. I can feel where I tagged myself. It was like a little bit of polling going on. But yeah, he was the rush is during the uh Cuban Missile Crisis where uh, he was providing the West with information about what the Russian Soviets were doing, the communists. And cause he was like, I live in this world. I don't want to have to have it destroyed by crazy lunatics. So. You know, when you got a, it's like, I have a family, so I was like, I can't do this. So, you get an opportunity to go check it out. It's a pretty good movie. Whew! Face stings. Stings. I say, this razor is pulling out the, f shaving everything loose. Now, cut that down quite well. Just got to get that direction. Man, that is smooth. Except for that one spot right there. There we go. You know, you go over it and go different directions. It's like you got those hairs that like swirly, swirly balls. And you gotta go every different direction to get the, the darn thing off. Wow, that is just like gone. Wow. Yeah, I guess with a really aggressive razor, does take it down to I guess what everybody calls it baby bottom smooth BBS there we go The train going across the intersection. All right, here we go. We're going into the chin. See how this works.
plenty of this. Might as well use it. Yeah, the scent is like does smell have a hint of peppercorn and some flowery notes to it, but it's got a spicy wood note. It's just when I lathered it up and I was like, oh, this is the ode. It's like they're using a lot of this. It seems like a lot of the same stuff that there is in the ode is in this. Pretty aggressive when it comes to going against the grain up on the you know, up, upper lip. It'll be a long view. Now one thing with this long thing sticking out, you can't get underneath your nose very well. Ooh, that stings. see I'm gonna use some Panay Clubman vanilla go with that oh boy Woo. that stings that's a stinger man wow okay I got a couple of whimpers there. I got my like, across the chin here too. Where I was grabbing a little bit across those bumpy areas. Alright, so that was a shave. And that was Sterling's Capania. Uh, it's a lot different between what you smell on the puck and then what you lather it up. I like it when it's lathered up. Not so much as when it's... Uh, on the puck but man when you lathered it up and I was like I smell that and go ooh me likey I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not but I do and this was the uh, star razor with persona blades oh, where are those personas are they up here there they are I didn't get that out persona gems there you go so that was the shave of the day. Hope you guys like this. So like and subscribe and uh, share with your friends and uh, come along with the journey. Hit the uh, uh, subscribe button. All right, this is Rusty and the Rusty Razor and we'll see you.